I think that in, in more ancient societies, essentially, like this idea that like an eye for an eye kind of idea was actually an idea of sort of limiting the damage. And people forget mm. this about eye for an eye. Like it sounds so horrible. But really what they're saying is, listen, if someone wrongs you and they take your eye out, you you can only get one eye back. You can't destroy their entire village. Uh. Um, and because that's how brutal, you know, it was in, in some of the older times. So this idea of a culture of honor, you know, like is still pretty typical in, in a lot of a lot of societies. But that is often resorting to violence um, in, in, res in response to defending yourself. Cultures of dignity are ideas that actually came sort of right around the time of the Enlightenment and with democratic societies, where essentially the rules are there is legitimate authority, there's a legitimate use of force out there, and it's up to you to be able to handle some amount of insult, some amount of abrasion, and hold on to your own dignity, and you are not allowed to resort to violence. So when on campus, and I ran into this, it's it's gotten a little bit better, but definitely over the last 10 years, I've seen this a lot, this argument that essentially, if you're saying something really offensive, that's a form of violence. <laughs> 